Hello again. In this video, we're going to look at how to construct a true 3D model of an entire sample by taking photographs of the top and the bottom halves and assembling them as normal and then merging the two halves together. Start by looking at a completed model of a sample of kimberlite from Kansas, donated by Matt Brusecki from Kansas State. You can see this is almost ready to publish to something like Sketchfab. We just need to get rid of this extraneous stuff around the edges. But the sample itself looks um, really pretty good. Maybe it needs a little bit tidied up down here on the bottom edge. But it looks pretty nice. But how do we get to this stage? So we look over in the workspace, you can see that we're looking at the merged chunk composed of 305 cameras and there's four markers. And that's the sum of the base and the top, 141 plus 164. You see that there's tie points, depth maps, and then the 3D model itself for that merged chunk, which is similar to the way that the two uh, halves, the base chunk and the top chunk, are constructed as well. So now we'll look at how we get that far. So I'm going to delete the merged chunk by highlighting it, hitting the X. So now we're ready to take the two chunks pair them to be merged. We're looking at the base chunk here and we're looking at the textured model. You can see that the bottom needs cleaned up as done before. Remember that with each of the chunks, each half, there's five usable faces with each chunk. So the four sides are going to overlap. A lot, so it's okay to just chop off a significant amount just to speed things up. So we have the the base and the top ready. So go to align chunks, and they're both. So they're both there. You can choose how you want to align them. We're going to choose point based. Uh, again, high accuracy is sufficient. And just to make it run a little faster, I need to take the key point limit down to 100,000. So click OK and we wait. And this can take um, quite a lot of time. Um, so Pause the video, finish up, it's finished. So that took about 15 minutes to process. Now we're ready to see, merge the chunks. And see that right now we're just still looking at one and a half. There's the whole little workflow. Merge chunks, select them both. This time we'll click on Merge Models. We could do Dense Clouds. And we click OK. Again, this will take some time. We jumped ahead through, so now we have a reliable model. Four points that you can see have been carried over from the second chunk. They were used to help align the images in the first place. But if the two halves had not aligned perfectly together, you would create more points using the uh, textures on the sides of the chunks. You can often see a seam where the two halves have joined together. And as we can 
see here if you rotate it around. I was too enthusiastic when I cut away at the base chunk and we're left with a hole. So if we were making this properly, we would stop, delete the merge chunk. We go back to previous save, be much more careful in how we trimmed down the base chunk and then we go through the process again. And we can zoom in now on the seam, Let's see how it shows up. It's quite obvious where the big hole is, but it's uh, with your careful eye, you can see it about where the cursor is now. And we see it as some gray dots and a couple of black holes. And they can be trimmed up um, to make it all a bit neater. But remember, we're going to add texture to this right now. It, while the shape is good, the texture is pretty bad. So we're going to add texture. It's going to be save. And we build texture. Normal defaults in the game. This takes a little while. Now we have the, the texture looks much sharper. You can see a lot of detail and it makes it much more visible. Uh, the hole is still there. Like I said we'd have to go back and rebuild this, but that's a nice finished model ready for saving, exporting, and loading up to Sketch Sketchfab.